I ride on a daily basis since more than 15 years now. I had to uh, communicate with people time to time a lot. My hobby is singing. It's uh, rather a passion of mine than a hobby. So I started studying Korean because I love languages. I grew up in a pub originally and I see my mum and dad all into the pub. I started uh, two years ago at Computer Center as a first line analyst. The biggest matches between my hobby and my daily work is finding harmony with another party. The skills that I use both in my hobby and in my job are, for example, communication, also multitasking. I learned how to work and stay calm under pressure as I am handling 600 kilogram animals on a daily basis. Finding the common ground and always walking an extra mile because I know that at the end of the day it will all work out. Uh, I was studying here. Um, at the net, there is a university. So first I studied business and administration and then I figured out that actually uh, IT skill would be better for me. And, and later on I really like Hungarian people and Hungarian traditional, so I wanted to stay Hungarian as being a Turkish guy. Regarding my job, uh, the communication is really important. First we have to understand the uh, customer, what is the exact problem, and then using the IT skills. My job is a first-line analyst. I've been working for Computer Center for more than one and a half years. I have a little knowledge of playing instruments and that's how I can compose my own songs. So something that I learned in my passion that I'm actually using in my everyday job is that nothing is actually what it seems. So one task or one note may seem easier to do or easier to sing but it actually is harder to just apply the right technique. So I started studying Korean because I love languages. In my free time I was also able to uh, make friends that were native Korean so I could I was able to practice um, outside of the university as well. I think the the biggest match is that it made me um, help connect with people. The, the main obstacle that I had to overcome was that I didn't used to be patient with myself. When I was 17 my unfortunately my father passed away suddenly after maybe six months I went in running with my mother initially and then after another couple of years, I kind of ran it myself. In the public, you're dealing with people first-hand, and it, as a first-hand analyst, the first point of contact is developing some kind of a relationship with them. The most important is the communication skills, is the soft skills on the phone, and how to deal with the person. There's a lovely atmosphere there. There's great support there, from you know the SAs, L2s, team leaders, and even with the colleagues around you. And there's a nice warm atmosphere. Almost a year ago now, I moved to a senior analyst position where I do reporting and conference calls with the customers, which I really enjoy. The thing that I like most about working at Service Desk is the, the fact that I can speak English basically all the time. Here I am now and it has been more than a year and it's still ongoing. It's always a challenging work, but it's very exciting. 